and this could quite possibly be the biggest feature in a cable park in the world. What's up y'all? Graham and I just arrived out here at 313 Cable Park last night. This is super exciting news because this is quite possibly the best wakeboard park in the world. But that's not really for me to decide. You can decide for yourself because everyone can have their own opinion. Basically today, I'm just gonna give you a full blown tour of this park. I'm gonna hop out on all three of the cables and sort of just show you guys all the features that are here and basically everything that this park has to offer. And you heard me right, there are three full size systems at this park. And that's something that is super ultra mega epic about it so you're definitely gonna want to check this place out but yeah I probably shouldn't just be standing here telling you about everything I should probably just start showing you so uh, yeah let's start with where I'm staying and then uh, we'll work our way over to the cables so this is where Graham and I are staying I'm pretty sure there are a total of 44 of these cabins I could be completely wrong but I think I'm right ours is the only one that comes with a swimming pool though and uh, yeah basically I'll just show you the inside this is like the living room Graham is staying in this one it's got a couch and desk and some other stuff over here um, little bathroom sink towels whatever little shower bathroom to do your business this is my room right now and uh, yeah that's basically the entire thing and there are 44 of these here I'm pretty sure so it's pretty epic because you can be right here and walk right outside and boom You're at the lake and uh, you can walk over to the dock and start riding just got all my stuff on gonna head up here to the main building uh, Get a wristband and then we're basically just gonna go try out all the cables Wow Can I get a wristband, please? Thank you <laughs> Just got my wristband, headed to the beginner cable, now up ahead. Just gonna hop out in the water, show you what it's all about and uh, some of the features on it. There you go. Thank you. All right, just hopping out here on the beginner cable for the first time. Something that's pretty sick about this cable is that it's the only cable of the three cables that is running at a slower speed, so it's beginner friendly. But since it's the only one running slow, the other two will be running a bit quicker for more advanced riders to sort of keep everyone in the park happy. The sickest part of this cable actually is that I think it's the only seven tower cable in the world, which means that the corners are super smooth and you can completely blow it and completely miss the buoys 100% and it'll still be pretty smooth through the corner and you won't get yanked on your face. So it's actually extremely beginner friendly and will help you progress a lot from the beginning. Also, this cable has symmetrical features all the way around the cable. Two kickers both sides, two flat boxes both sides, two inclines, two flat pipes, and two flat bars. So uh, yeah, that's super sick and helps you learn and progress really, really fast. Just finished up at the beginner cable. That was super fun. And uh, this is super epic for beginners to learn and make their way over to some of the bigger and better cables. But uh, something I saw along the way that looks pretty cool. It might look a little bit weird, but it could probably be pretty helpful. They actually have this on land little rail training area. And basically you can grab this handle right here and hop on there and jump around, maybe learn a rail to rail on this or learn to step up these steps or ride down a bank or something like that right here on land going at no speed at all so you have no fear of real injury. Something that is so great about this park is that it's all about progression really. It's all about trying to get better on your wakeboard while having fun at the same time. And that's what wakeboarding should really always be about. Having fun, progressing, hanging out with your friends and you can really tell that the owners of this park really care about the wakeboard community. It's not just a money sucking complex. There's tons of new features, tons of cables and everything to help every single rider progress and have a good time. Making my way down to the intermediate 
cable now some of you might not think this is an intermediate cable because i'm pretty sure that this one is probably better than every park in texas but we're gonna throw the gopro on my head and we're gonna hop out there and give it a rip Just hopped out on the intermediate cable now. You can see the kickers have gotten a bit bigger. The speed is faster and the obstacles are also a bit bigger as well. Um, but one thing they do have is uh, some of the same features that are on the beginner cable so that if you are trying to make that transition from the beginner level to the intermediate level, you can have some features you're already ready to hit at a little bit faster of a speed, and then you can work your way up into a little bit harder of obstacles. Also, this cable is one tower less than the beginner cable, so the corners are a little bit sharper, so whenever you do progress to here, it might be a little bit more difficult to go through the corners, but it shouldn't be too big of a transition. One thing they did want to do on the intermediate leg is make some rail to rail transfers that aren't that big so that it's not that scary to learn a rail to rail for the first time. And also tons of cool transitions as well like this West Rock feature. Just finished up over here on the intermediate cable and uh, me and Graham are headed back to the cabin now. Gonna put on some dry clothes and uh, go check out this restaurant over here. I think the food's pretty epic. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go check that out. Wow. The future. My favorite. Can I get a Bruisley rice with a Coca-Cola and a Fanta? And then I also have this ice cream. Yeah? Yep. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Should I take that one? Well? Ah, sure. Yeah, thank thank you. you. I don't know, but yours looks dope. Mine looks pretty dope too. Just finished up eating. The food was super good. And while I was eating, I noticed out the window that they have this super sick mini ramp here. We're going to have to check this thing out tomorrow. But before I head back to the cabin and uh, go wakeboarding on the pro lake, I'm going to head on over and check out the pro shop and see what they got. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get ready. And uh, right after that, board sports. Wow, wow, wow. I need you to find me the best board in the world. Mm, let me have a look. Um, don't even know which one it would be. We've got blue ones, black ones, and dark blue ones in the back. But yeah, if you're gonna come out to quite possibly the best wakeboard park in the world, you should probably check out quite possibly the best wakeboard in the world. In stock at Board Sports. The sun's popping out, lake's looking epic. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ride this thing. I'm not gonna lie, I probably took about a two hour lap, but that's another thing great about this park because there's still tons of daylight left and I got to sleep in the middle of the day so you basically get two days per day when you're here kind of but yeah I'm about to hop on the pro cable now and from what I hear is it's basically all of the more advanced kind of rails on the intermediate cable over there and they're kind of just jumbo size obviously they're a little bit different but everything in this lake looks super ultra mega it should be super sick out there I think and yeah I think it's pretty awesome that they cater towards every single rider from the lowest beginner levels all the way up to the pro level rider so it's really cool that they care so much about all of us and uh give everyone an opportunity to have the most fun as possible so there is a giant elk overlooking the pro lake always watching so uh yeah, that's pretty dope. If you're trying to get someone to film you, I have been here 24 seven, just a little over a year now, and I can't imagine him firing me anytime soon, but I will be here filming with my dad cam every day, probably for the rest of my life. At the dock now, so let's go. All right, finally on the pro lake. 
The rails out here do look absolutely massive. I'm not gonna lie. The thing they don't have in the intermediate cable over there, but they do have over here is a nice little transfer box on the left, a little transfer to ledge. So uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. And this could quite possibly be the biggest feature in a cable park in the world. Of course, some uh, bigger rail to rail features. All right, that's pretty much gonna be it for today out here at 313 Cable Park. I didn't really do a ton of tricks today. I was just kind of doing an overview of the entire park. But I am doing a day in my life video out here tomorrow, so I will try a ton more tricks for you in that video, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. This could quite possibly be the best wake park I have ever been to in my life. You guys can uh, comment below and tell me what you think about the park, or maybe what you think they could do different, or what you think your home cable park could do different to make it as good as this one but yeah overall i think this park is definitely absolutely insane and i don't think it can really get much better than this i think i'm spending a total of 10 days at this park so there's going to be a ton more videos coming from here so make sure you guys stay tuned because i'm super excited to produce all these videos for you guys and yeah if y'all like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.